Hey guys, Tfisher88 here with another figure review. Seeing as though it's the month of October, I figured I'd do a Halloween related figure review, and it just ha so happens to be for one of the most iconic villains in horror history. Ladies and gentlemen, the Springwood Slasher himself. Freddy Krueger. That's right, we'll be looking at Freddy Krueger today. Now, this guy was released just this year, the year being 2011, of course, um, by the company NECA, and they are known for releasing some pretty good um, collectibles and toys and figures and whatnot. And um, I must say, that this is a very nice piece of work from them. But before we do anything with the figure, um, I think I'll show you his box. Alright, so here's Freddy's box. Um, just to give you a full shot here. It comes in one of these types of uh, boxes. I'll go ahead and flip it on over here real quick. There's a nice shot on the front of the box of Freddy from Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Freddy Krueger, as seen in Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, just some the packaging and whatnot. It says A Nightmare on Elm Street, of course, here. The back, real quick. Shows other figures you can get. Let's see this. From part two, three, and four. There's the actual figure itself. And just kind of a brief synopsis of the original Nightmare on Elm Street. So, uh, yeah, there you go. There's Freddy's box. Now we'll move on to the figure itself. Um, in terms of articulation, he does have quite a few points. Both arms do rotate 360, just fine. Um, they can also move up and down. And you can also move them at the elbow, up and down like that. And they can also kind of uh, swivel like that give him more posability in the arms. Also, the hand and glove both rotate 360 at the wrist, and then they can also move up and down and side to side and whatnot for more posability, which is a nice touch. Um, there's articulation in the waist. You can kind of move him like that, forward and backward, and you can also turn him like that, and that could most likely go 360. The feet can also move. Um, they can move, I, presume, I assume, 360, and uh, they can move up and down because they are jointed. Uh, I really don't want to do that because this guy can be a pain to get to stand. Right now he's perfectly fine, but I really don't want to ruin that. So yeah. Um, another point is the actual head. I'll take his hat off. Yes, the hat is a separate piece. The head can rotate like that to where he can look around and it can also rotate well not rotate move up and down to where he can say yes so yeah pretty cool I must say so yeah um, Freddy is loaded with articulation points which is good for a character like him he was always moving um, in different ways very posed he can be in various poses like in the film so yeah in terms of detail, I must say Freddy is very, very nice. I'll go ahead and switch it over to focus to where I can show you some of the awesome detail. So here's Freddy's sweater. As you can see, it is really nicely done. Just everything about it looks really good. Burn marks, holes. It's got a very old and dingy look, which is good. The back just folds like he's really wearing it, which is good. Arms. They look really nice. Hands, the hand, all the f the fingernails are individually sculpted, which is a nice touch. Um, the hand is nicely done inside the arm. Really nicely done. And now the piece of resistance, the glove, which is very nicely done. The um, back plate is actually screen accurate. The blades look really good as well. The cuts in the leather glove are accurate, believe it or not. 
and they even bothered to add in a little special thing which was the hole right there if you can see that that is screen accurate it was on the actual hero glove and everything on the glove is just accurate so it looks really nice pants look like pants so yeah shoes you can see that all the shoe the shoelaces are present and just everything looks pretty good I don't really see any problems with this so yeah the pants look like they are being worn which is good because he is posed to where it should look like that and before I forget his face which is really nicely done I must say it's got all the burn marks and just everything makes it look very very villainous evil like it should obviously the teeth are very nicely done on him eyes are nice just the overall look is very um, accurate to the original Nightmare on Elm Street and I'll go ahead and show off his hat it's a really nice fedora looks just like the one in the film nothing inside so yeah so yeah the hat very accurate and all in all Freddy is great in detail now, Freddy came with a few accessories, three to be exact, if you don't count the hat. Um, and I'll go ahead and show those really quick. But, well, here, I'll just show them now. He came with his extendo arms from when he was walking down the alleyway in the beginning of the original film. And uh, an extra head from where Tina rubbed his face off. Um, go ahead and show the detail of that really quick. Yeah, that looks really good. So yeah, no complaints. So yeah, overall, nicely done. And just to show you one of the extended arms, because they're both practically the same. So yeah. Anyway, I'll go ahead and pop these things on to show you. So here's Freddy with the extendo arms attached. Um, one thing you have to do is you do have to pop the hand and glove off of the regular arms and put them on the little pegs, which is not really a big problem. But um, getting this, the arms into the body itself is a little tricky, um, as it can be a little bit hard. But you can manage it, I'm sure. Anyway, um, he does look really good with the extended arms, just like he um, did in the film. So yeah, they do look really good, um, and they do have articulation. They can, of course, move 360, they can move like that, they can move at the elbow as well, up and down, and they can swivel, and of course, the hands can rotate and move. So yeah, this was a pretty nice um, access accessory for this guy, and overall, it's a nice addition. I uh, went ahead and attached the extra head that Freddy came with, and overall, it does look really nice, um, although I do prefer the regular head just to you know yeah and overall pretty nice I like it um, it was a nice uh, addition along with the extendo arms so yeah overall NECA did a very nice job on this Freddy it really captures the look appearance and whatnot of the original 1984 Kruger himself um, detail is extremely nice on this guy there are really no complaints at all that I have with this figure um, articulation is really really nice um, and accessory wise he comes with three if you don't count the hat and they do make a good addition to the figure and overall I would say buy this if you're a fan of the Nightmare on Elm Street series or if you're a horror fan in general or a toy collector of any sort um, yeah so yeah um, I got this at Toys R Us for about $16 which I think was a really good deal I would totally say get it if you could find it for that price. You could get it at a local Toys R Us or hobby store or whatnot. So yeah, totally recommend it. And yeah, very awesome. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this Halloween themed review. And until next time, I'll see ya. You're quite the handsome devil, I must say.